Hey, so um, some of you guys have asked about what neurofeedback is and what an EEG is, and uh, the lovely Sharla has agreed, my neurofeedback therapist has agreed to show you what that looks like, and I'm going to show you what the EEG machine looks like. Uh, I don't know how to flip the camera. Let's see. No, we're not going to flip. We're just going to show you. So that is what an EEG looks like, and it's going to measure my brain waves, and Sharla is going to hook me up while we film this. She um, is a neurofeedback therapist. She also does CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, neurofeedback's been around for a long time. Uh, how long? Oh, probably since the 60s in one form or another. Biofeedback has been. Biofeedback's been around since the 1960s. Neurofeedback has been around uh, for at least the last 10 years. It's oftentimes, it's actually been really helpful with kids who have uh, autism, spectrum autism, um, people who have ADHD, ADD, um, and they've found research with PTSD. In fact, they did a great study with vets who had PTSD, and they found that using uh, EEG and neurofeedback work helped them. So what she's doing is putting stuff on my head so she can attach the electrodes. Uh, they found that the vets were able to help alleviate some of their PTSD symptoms and not only that, they were able to uh, <laughs> live better lives. So for anybody who's dealt with anxiety, depression, uh, and depression and anxiety cycle onto the, the same cycle. Um, and for those of you who uh, have traumatic brain injury or who have dealt with traumatic brain injury, you may or may not know that the brain will cycle in and out of a lot of different things. So insomnia, anxiety, depression, um, PTSD, worry, all kinds of crazy cycles that uh, you might have used to been able to control or your thinking might have um, formerly been, um, I don't know, easy to manage. You, you find that uh, after a brain injury or an accident, uh, injury to your brain, all of a sudden you're not in charge anymore. And that can be really frustrating because uh, when your brain is the tool that you use to help guide you and it's not working anymore, you're kind of screwed. So neurofeedback has been a therapy that I've been doing since last April. And it has definitely helped me in terms of being able to track better. Uh, I feel like I can uh, hold on to conversations longer. I feel like it's helping me focus my um, attention mostly. I'm still kind of off the ADD. Um, I, have a, I have a super fun uh, kind of ADD called, what is it called? Inattentive? Inattentive. Inattentive. Got it right. ADD. Um, but for me, neurofeedback has helped quite a bit. The interesting part is that neurofeedback, its job is to help measure your brain waves and then it gives you uh, input into your brain through these here electrodes. Do, 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 do. Um, one thing that we have found with my brain waves is that I am calculating incredibly high. What are we, what are we going to today? We're at 1.6. So uh, I'm at 1.6. 80% of brains tend to be at 0 0.001. 0 0.01 through 0 0.1. Point <laughs> 0.01 through 0 0.1. Point what she said. <laughs> so my brain waves are calculating at about 1600 times uh, that of 80% of brains um, in neurofeedback. And what we're trying to do is find a frequency that works with my brain so that I can um, help my body integrate all these new pieces of information and all the brain cycling. So hopefully you can see some of that. Uh, I'm gonna flip the screen and you can see what I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm going to get visual input and stimuli Charlotte, oh, bear. I'm gonna have a bear. I get a bear. This is a bear. The bear does some cool vibrating things um, under my arm. Uh, offers me some more feedback. You can turn it on if you want. Um, and then uh, there's gonna be visual feedback through a movie and a computer screen, and I'll show you what that looks like. Yes, I am watching. For those of you who don't know, See if you could name that movie. 
and depending on whatever feedback my brain is giving, it, the screen will adjust. So thank you for watching this. I hope this is uh, some information for you about neurofeedback, about what an EEG is, about what brains do, um, and about the fabulous Sharla and neurofeedback in Highlands. Thank you.